This is uh, Related Rates Notes 2 on uh, specifically similar triangles and shadow problems. Uh, let's look at example 1 and then I'll be able to walk through um, these types of problems which are uh, similar and show up um, uh, numerous times um, later on with your homework as well as uh, potentially AP problems. A man who is 6 feet tall is walking away from a lamppost at a rate of 5 feet per second. Uh, the lamppost is 20 feet tall. The person casts a shadow on the ground in front of them. Um, part A, how fast is the shadow growing when the person is 30 feet from the lamppost? And part B, how fast is the tip of the shadow moving when the person is 30 feet from the lamppost? All right, so here's a diagram. Uh, we have uh, the 6-foot person here, and we have the 20-foot uh, lamppost here. Uh, the... Uh, uh, the shadow that is cast from the lamppost is given by this portion of the small triangle. So if you can see here, uh, the similar triangles here that are um, where the ratios are uh, uh, equal to each other, uh, it was, we have the small triangle here, and then we have the large triangle uh, here um, that is extending all the way uh, throughout the entire diagram. So, all right, so the person is walking away from the lamppost. Okay, so the person is walking away from the lamppost uh, at a rate of five feet per, uh, five feet, five feet per second. Okay? Um, and we want to represent that by dy over dt. I'm sorry, dx over dt, walking away, dx over dt. Uh, the rate at which the person is walking away from the lamppost is the rate of change of x. All right. Uh, let me just go and go back a little bit. Uh, the uh, with similar triangles, uh, we can set up proportions. So uh, one way that we can do this is we can say small height is to the big height. Okay. So this is the height of the small triangle. This is the height of the large triangle. So small height is to big height. So six over twenty as small base. So here's the base of the small triangle is to the base of the large triangle, which is this entire horizontal distance here. Okay. So small height is to big height, as small base, which is y, is to the big base, which is x plus y. Okay. Not just x, it's x plus y. The reason why it's not just x is because if you look at the length of x, uh, length of x is not the full length of any triangle. Okay. So we have to uh, write it as x plus y. And this is only if you are representing the variables as I am, where I represent this portion as x and this portion as y. Okay. And uh, let me go through uh, uh, what each of these represent. dx dt is the rate of which the person is walking. So if the, if the person is walking away from the lamppost, then this x distance is going to be increasing over time. So dx dt will be positive. However, if the person is walking towards the lamppost, then the rate of change of x is going to decrease, which is therefore going to cause dx dt to be negative. All right, dy dt is the rate of change of y. So uh, dy dt is the rate of change of the length of the shadow. So as the person is walking um, uh, towards the lamppost, this y is going to start decreasing. As the person is walking away from the lamppost, uh, he's going to cast a, a longer and longer shadow. So then that's going to cause dy dt to, uh, to be positive because y will be increasing. Right. And um, finally, um, dx dt plus dy dt. So the rate of change of the, uh, the person walking and the rate at which the length of the shadow is changing that's going to lead to the rate of the change of the tip of the shadow. So the rate of the tip, so the tip of the shadow is moving at a rate that is equal to um, uh, the rate at which person is walking plus the rate at which the shadow is lengthening. All right. So if we go back to our proportion here, small height is to big height as small base is to big base. Um, uh, here is uh, uh, the algebraic equation that we're going to start with. Um, and then we're going to um, find the differential for these and then fill in with information that we know. So if we do cross product, cross multiply, we can say 6 
parentheses x plus y is equal to 20 times y. Okay, if, I, if I expand the 6 through, I get 6x plus 6y is equal to 20y. Uh, combine like terms, 6x equals 14y. So at this instant, I can now find the derivative of each variable with respect to time. So 6x becomes 6 dx dt because the, the derivative for x is 1, but then we have to attach a dx dt. The derivative for 14y is 14. The derivative for y is 1, but we have to attach dy dt. And then we look to see what information is given to us from here. Okay, uh, So the person is walking away at a rate of 5 feet per second. So we can represent that as the dx dt. Um, the person is 30 feet away from the lamppost, so x equals 30. How fast is the shadow growing when the person is 30 feet from the lamppost? Okay, we did that. Uh, so we're trying to find the rate at which the shadow is growing. So we're trying to find dy dt. So if we're at this point, uh, differential equation, we can plug in 5 in for dx dt and then solve for dy dt. So 6 times 5 is equal to 30. 30 divided by 14 would then isolate dy dt. So dy dt is 15 over 7. So that's part A. We found the rate at which the shadow length is growing. And part B is saying how fast is the tip of the shadow moving. So tip the shadow, the rule is we add the two rates of the shadow and the person walking. So the rate of the shadow changing is 15 over 7. The rate at which person is walking is 5. So we add those two rates together, and we get 5 plus 15 over 7, which is 50 over 7 feet per second. Okay. Notice um, that it doesn't matter how far the person is away from the lamppost. This is not going to be a factor in changing uh, these answers here. So the person could be 20 feet away, could be 10 feet away from the lamppost. Um, the rate will still change uh, 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 consistently, and we're not going to have uh, this distance, this value, uh, affect the problem. So um, uh, it's kind of a, uh, extra information that is not needed. Um, but you're going to see this a lot, so, uh, well, at least in the homework problems. So you, you need to be aware uh, to, um, uh, to ignore this portion because it's not needed in the problem. All right, let's do another one here, number two. Uh, a street light is mounted at the top of a 15-foot pole, so I'm just going to set up the right triangle, uh, the similar right triangles the same way. A man five feet tall walks towards the pole at a rate of five feet per second. How fast is the tip of the shadow moving when he is 40 feet from the pole? How fast is the length of the shadow changing when he is 40 feet from the pole? All right, so let's set up our, our similar right triangle here. We have the person that's 5 feet tall. We have the street light, uh, the pole that is 15 feet tall. And I'm going to set up the other parts of the right triangle. Y will represent um, the base of the small triangle. And X will represent the portion of the base of the large triangle. All right, so we're going to set up our proportions here. So small height is to big height, 5 over 15, is equal to small base as uh, um, as small base is to the big base. So the small base is y. The big base is the length of this entire um, large triangle, which is x plus y. Now, if we cross multiply here, cross product, well, first I'm going to reduce here. 5 over 15 reduces to be 1 over 3. Cross product, I get 3y is equal to x plus y. Combine like terms, subtract y from both sides, 2y is equal to x. Now I have a cleaned up equation. I can now find the derivative of each variable with respect to time. So the derivative for ty, sorry, the, the, the derivative for 2y was going to be 2 dy dt, and the derivative for x will be 1 dx dt. So we're at this point. All right, let's see what information is given to us. We're told that the man is walking towards the pole at 5 feet per second. So the rate of change of x is going to be decreasing over time as uh, the person is walking towards the pole. Um, the length between the distance between the person and the pole will be decreasing. And because the rate of change of x is decreasing, we have to include that. We have to make that a negative rate. Okay, so uh, negative rate, positive rate has nothing to do with the direction at which uh, the person is walking. Um, the rate, uh, the, the sign of the rate is dependent on whether that distance is increasing or decreasing over time. So we need to be able to visualize how the problem is changing, how the different lengths are changing, and then from there 
make the appropriate um, decision as to whether to allow that rate to be positive or to make it a negative. All right, so um, we found uh, the derivative with, with respect to time. Uh, we have dx dt, which is negative 5. So if we find dy dt, then we have all the pieces that we need to find all three pieces of information. All right, so uh, dx dt is negative 5. We can now solve for dy dt, so divide both sides by 2. So dy dt is equal to negative 5 halves feet per second. So this is going to be the rate at which the length of the shadow is changing. So we, here we actually found the answer for part B, how fast the length of the shadow changing, negative 5 over 2. Part A, it says how fast is the tip of the shadow moving. So the formula for tip of the shadow is the rate at which the person is walking plus the rate at which um, the length of the shadow is increasing. So we add the two rates together, so the negative 5, and we add it to the negative 5 halves. So we add those two together. Dx dt plus dy dt will give us negative 7.5 feet per second.